Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a flaming heart cane. First we are going to need to make a Skinner blend. I'm using a bit of white, sunshine yellow, orange, pomegranate and black and a few random strips of those colors to give the blend some more interest. Try to keep your blend narrow. If you can't, here I'm showing you how to narrow it from a wider sheet. Start pushing the clay toward the center from the ends. Straighten with the roller and repeat the process until you get to the width that you need. Then put the sheet through the pasta machine on a thin setting and roll into a cylinder. Once you have your cylinder, squeeze it into a rectangular shape and push the corners on the yellow side together into a sharp corner. Reduce the shape to get a few pieces, the sizes do not have to be the same. Adjust and manipulate each piece to give them the same height. Roll out a sheet of black clay on a thin setting of the pasta machine. We will need to wrap the top of each piece, just above the red color. Smooth out the seam with your fingers or a kneading needle and do the same for each of the flame sections. Here I decided to make 5 flames instead of 4, so I reduced one of the bigger sections to get 2 more. Decide how you want your flames to look. 
And now we are going to give them a little bit of movement by curving some of the sections. To keep those curves in place, roll out a piece of black clay into a log and add it on one of the sides of the flame. Smooth out with a knitting needle. Add another smaller piece on the very top of the flame, giving it a slight curve. Then do the same for all the flames. Once you start to put your flames together, you will see that somewhere in there there might be some gaps. We would need to fill all those gaps and then wrap everything in a sheet of black and add a few layers at the bottom. Before adding more layers for the hard sharp corner, make an indent at the top with a kneading needle. Smooth it out and round out the two sections. Then add those layers on the bottom and cut the axis to give the cane a hard shape. Then set aside for now.
For the heart's outline, make another Skinner blend with yellow, orange and red. And then again, keep it narrow and in the same way we did earlier, roll out into a cylinder. Flatten it and give it the height of the heart. Put it through the pasta machine on a thick setting so you have enough to wrap around the heart. Then wrap everything in a thick layer of black and start packing the cane to give it a square shape. Once done, let the cane rest. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like to start reduction with a little tile or an acrylic block. Press on the cane with the tile, then turn on the other side. Keep turning and pressing until you can use your hands or fingers to help stretch the cane. Don't press too hard so you don't squish the cane and distort the design. And only use a roller to straighten, not to reduce so you don't distort it further.
and our hurricane is ready. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thank you so much for watching, till next time.